because expense occurred, but didn't pay yet. We will pay in future. So what will be the entry? When you pay debit expense, credit liability. And what about the unearned revenue? Unearned revenue, the revenue is our liability. So when you pay the, uh, uh, when you record the revenue, liability decrease, liability decrease means debit, revenue increase means credit. So this is just the way you can also uh, memorize that. But if you know the logic behind that, you don't need to memorize this table. Okay. Now, summary of adjusting process here. So you're going to tell me. Let's read the scenario. And let me see that whether we have this is breakout room activity or not. Let me see that. Or no, this is not a breakout room activity. Here we go. So Friday Auto Service Incorporation will make an additional adjustment entry to accrued income tax. Income tax occurred, but they didn't pay yet, 600. And the related income tax payable as a final adjusting entry of the period. So 600, they already created the liability, accrued liability, right? But they are now paying that. So when they're paying that, so the related income tax payable as a final adjustment entry gonna be income tax expense to income tax payable. All right, because they didn't pay yet. But when they paid, it's going to be liability decrease and cash decrease. But the question didn't say that they finally paid this 600 to the government. No, cash is didn't, cash didn't go out. Cash is, uh, there is no cash outflow, direct outflow here. So this is the, all the stuff that we have gone through with this uh, Friday income service, uh, auto supply, I think. Yeah, so prepaid rent expense, prepaid, it's you prepaid expense didn't uh, happen yet. So what is the recording? Simple, prepaid is asset to prepaid rent. Sorry, prepaid rent expires, which means expense occurred only thousand. So you increase the expense, you decrease the asset. Supply used 300. Supply used, which means supply expense to supply. This will go to balance sheet and this will go to income sheet. Similarly, 400 depreciation on equipment. So, depreciation to accumulated depreciation. Accrued salary expense 900, which means salary is now expense, but didn't pay it. Salary occurred, you didn't pay yet. So you create liability. Expense will go to income statement. Liability will go to balance sheet. Salary expense to salary payable. Accrued service revenue 300, which means you deliver the goods, but you didn't receive the cash. So simple account receivable to revenue or service revenue. Then accumulated of unearned service revenue that has been earned. The question says that had this that has been earned, <clears throat> which means previously you received cash in advance for the sales, so you created the liability cash to earn earned revenue. But now 200 revenue has been earned, so revenue increase, liability decrease, earned revenue to service revenue. And the last one is accrued income tax expense. It means income tax occurred, but did you pay that? No, you create liability. Income tax expense to liability. Expense increase, always debit. Liability increase, always credit. All right, everyone. Any question? Hen, PD, Momo? No, sir. Oliver, Tara, okay. Venetia, Miria, okay. Mirko? Noon, all right. So when you post it, simple, post it to their P account. And you create, at the end, you close it. All right. So all the things are the same. Which things need to be updated? 
accumulated depreciation, revenue because unearned revenues over there, prepaid expenses, accrued expenses, right? Depreciation and income tax. So when you add it, and now you have right to make, this is also accrued revenue. So now you have a right to find out the balance of the account. So now you can just find out the balance, which one is greater side, so you can write down the balance. By the way, why we didn't write the balance here? Balance 13100, why didn't we write? Just right here. Because we don't have the corresponding entry here. If we didn't have the corresponding entry here, so this will become the balance. So we don't need to make a double line here and saying, okay, this is the balance here. Okay, you can directly write down, okay, this is the balance, that's it. Okay, so some students, they ask me, okay, sir, here we have a line here, right? And here we have a line, but here we don't have the line. Even if we make a line here, like salary payable 900, 900, the balance is still 900. So it's up to you whether you want to make a line here and write it down 13100 as a balance here, or you can just let it be like that because we don't have any other entry, corresponding entry. Okay. So now adjusted trial balance. So all of these balances will be written down to or added to the trial balance. So we previously made the unadjusted trial balance and now we are adding all the stuff, the new stuff that we make the adjustment entry, now we are adding over there. So this is the trial balance that we made. So then we post, it's up to you, if you want to make this or not, it's up to you. But here we go. So. Our account receivables are debited by 300. Our new balance is 2,500. So where this 2,500 is coming from? From here. So if you can just replace it with 2,500 here, because we already did the adjustment entry. This is just a summary of adjustment entry that you did here, so you're just mentioning here. Otherwise, this is no use of it, because we already make general entry and post it. So just you can make, Unadjusted and adjusted. On adjusted, all the adjustment that have you done, you rewrite the balances. So which one is changed? Account receivable is changed, set supplies is changed because supplies have been used, right? So previously it shows 700, now it shows 400. Prepaid rent expired 1000, right? We did the entry, so we make a new balance here. Land is the same, equipment is the same, accumulated depreciation increase, all right? Accounts payable is the same. Unearned revenue, yes, it's changed. Why? Because 200 service revenue we have, you know, eligible to earn it. So we make a reverse entry over there as well. So now we make a new balance here. Previously it was 400 and now it was 200. So similarly, so you came down to the retained earning, dividend, service revenue. Everything that you have changed is now recorded here. All right, so what we're discussing over trial balance, it starts from balance sheet accounts. And first, you need to write down current assets. You see, all the current assets are here. And then you write fixed assets or long term assets. These are land, equipment, accumulated depreciation. Done. And then this time for liabilities. First, current liabilities. Salary payable, account payable, unearned revenue, income tax payable. But there is no long term liability, so don't worry about that. And now this is equity, honors equity. Honors equity, we have here common stock, retain earning, <clears throat> and then we have. Uh, retain earning statement, which is retain earning statement accounts, which is dividend, and then we have income statement accounts. First, all the revenues, interest revenue, sale revenue, rent revenue, every kind of revenue is here, and then you mention all the expenses. 
and at the end remember like trial balance total debit is equal to total credit similarly and adjusted trial balance total debit is equal to total credit if it if doesn't match then there must be some error maybe in adjustment entry or maybe somewhere if these are equal in in unadjusted and here is not not equal then it means we made a mistake in four adjustment entries where then you can just check you know double check there so many students confused in this so just ignore that if you because you already made the adjustment entries and you post it to the balance this balance is just you pick from closing here this one you closing from here 3200 right supply is 300 okay which one need adjustment supply so now supplies new balance is 400 so you just pick 400 and go to the adjusting side 400 here so let me just clear this 400 previous pick was 700 all right here we go okay now i think it's time for you to have breakout room activity let me see that whether we have a breakout room activity here or not yes we do have okay so i'm going to be creating oh sorry about that i'm going to be creating a breakout room please take a picture and i would be uploading on a group the entries and all you have to do generalize the entry and write and then at the end you need to make the statements or find out the income and all those stuff all right so please take a picture meanwhile i am making the breakout room so i am making i think four groups okay and those who are watching online please pause the video here because uh, we are not going to be recorded uh, you know going to record the breakout room activities so just i'm going to pause in the video i will i will resume it after we have done the breakout room okay class welcome back after the breakout room activity so let's compare our answers here so let's read it one by one so phonics equipment rentals company they face the following situations generalize the adjusting entry needed at 31st december 2014 